This short video will show you how to add faculty contact information. Uh, your default course shell may look like this, or you may have something um, similar to this page. Um, this is the default template applied to online classes. Or you may have something like this if your college or department has a specific template. <clears throat> For the purpose of these videos, I'll work with the default shell. <clears throat> Excuse me, Blackboard course shell. Let me be a little more specific that. So this is the home page when you log in and as you can see our information area has the gray box next to it which means the link has no content. If you click information you'll see that it's blank. You get a friendly prompt from Blackboard. It's time to add content. So here's my best way to add that quick information. Hover over the build content tab and then select item. You'll have to name it. and then you can provide that information below. Um, what you provide is completely up to you. If you wanted to um, link out to particular things or if you have an external website that you use or provide content to students with, you could provide that here as well. Uh, after you've entered all the information you want to provide to students, make sure you scroll down. By default, it should be available to them. And if you want, you can turn on the track number of views option. Click submit, and that'll post it to the course. Obviously, the text would be listed below. Um, if you don't have an information or a faculty information area in your course, all you'll have to do is click the add, add link menu or add menu icon, add menu, stop. Your faculty contact information will appear below. If you don't have a faculty information or an information area of your course, you'll use this plus button in the top left corner of your course menu and click content area. You'll name it. And then you'll need to make it available to users. If you're drafting things, you don't necessarily have to do that. You can change that um, after you've completed those changes. Um, so I'm going to make it available and click Submit, and you'll notice that by default Blackboard puts our new things at the bottom of the course menu. So you can click and drag this where you'd like it. If you have trouble with that, and, that, and that's usually going to be a browser issue, you can also use this up and down arrow. Um, select the item that you'd like to move, and then you can manually move it up to the uh, location that you'd like, and click Submit. You'll notice that it moves. And again, our, our gray box is there that indicates that we don't have any content in that area. And so if you've accidentally put something in the wrong place, all you have to do is click the menu icon next to it and choose Move. It's going to default to the course that we're working in. I can click Browse and select the correct location to place that item. Click Submit and it moves it for us. And if I no longer want this information page, I can use this menu icon next to it to delete the link.